Take a look at this beautiful dancer. That is Melissa Gonzalez. Would you believe she had major back surgery just a couple of months ago? Wow, that is hard to believe. Melissa has scoliosis, a curvature of the spine. She's here now with Dr. David Siambanis, director of the Children's Scoliosis Center at St. Joseph's Hospital. And they're joining us to talk about National Scoliosis Awareness Month. And welcome to the both of you. And we got to first start with the great news, Melissa. You are going into USF very soon as a USF Sundal dancer. Yes. <laughs> and, and you just had, I mean, relatively speaking, a short time ago, this very serious scoliosis surgery. So you must be a miracle worker, oh. worker doctor. <laughs> well, you know, the, she's the best patient to have. You've got a really, uh, you know, talented, assertive, energetic girl. Everybody would love to have a patient like her. And so. to see you dance, you'd never know that you had surgery like that. Oh, Let's talk yeah. about the, uh, the, how common scoliosis is. My niece right now is, is having an operation for scoliosis. This is so interesting That's that now. you're here today. How often does this happen to, to young kids? Yeah, it's about 3% of the population. The mm -hmm. majority of them don't get very bad, though. The majority of them, uh, we watch. Uh, if they get past a certain degree of 25, 20 degrees, we can brace them. Mm -hmm. But short of bracing and watching uh, for idiopathic scoliosis, we, uh, the, the ultimate level is surgical if it gets so severe that it's going to affect them as an adult. And well, that's what we're pretty much doing is preventing problems as an adult because they don't initially have pain. Mm -hmm. They initially have disfigurement, but not pain initially, but which follows later. Mm, okay. Now, Melissa, you were diagnosed at age 12? Yeah. Okay. W w did you have pain or was it the disfigurement? meant that bothered you? I actually didn't have pain till my degree got to about 70 mm. and he said it was thankful for the dancing. That oh, really? Strength in my back so the muscle. fact that you were in really good shape. Now doctor we're looking at this the actual Melissa's curvature of the spine. Fine. Oh my goodness. And, and talk to us about what you uh, Well that, that you is found supposed there. to be straight. Uh -huh, <laughs> that's yes. one thing, so. Well that's obviously the before. Yes, yes. So you oh. can see that you can see the disfigurement. Her right shoulder is elevated. Her, her the crease of her waist are, are uh, disfigured. And you can you know if you do this for a living, uh, you can pretty much see the patients walk in and, and determine who's having scoliosis surgery mm. and who isn't. And this didn't impede your dancing at all, Melissa. No, <laughs> unbelievable. Wow, that is yeah. If done correctly, um, you know, long term, they have no restrictions. Wow. And I've have children, people going back, children going back to gymnastics, you know, hockey, you know, dancing. Mm -hmm. So, and part of it's the youth, you know, the children and kids heal much more readily than adults. And adult spine surgery is much more different than, mm. than the children. Yeah, well, I let's look imagine. at the after here. Look at that. What have you done? Um, I've straightened it, apparently, yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, you put <laughs> in some, how do you, how do you get, how do you do this? You put rods in, obviously, and yeah. you try, but so is it that you, pliable that you can just straighten it and then do there, that? There are techniques we do to make the spine more pliable. That's important. So the first thing we do is do some removal of bone or, or in, in uh, soft tissue to make it more pliable. Ah. And then those little screws you can see there are, are anchors into the bone. And once I get the anchors in the bone, I can manipulate it. Huh. Mm -hmm. The rods go into the anchors, I manipulate the rods, I manipulate the spine. How long of a surgery is that? Um, you know, I do a certain amount of these cases, uh, probably take me three to four hours. Okay, Melissa, let's talk about after, after the surgery. What was it like recover, recovery for you? At first it was difficult, but I was just excited to get back into dancing. How long before you could really dance the way you wanted to? Three months. Three months. That's not bad at all. <laughs> and now, doctor, she can do anything that... Anything. Anything she could do before. And if you could see some of her dancing, it's, uh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, well, we're a looking great at dancer. it right here. Yeah, she is an amazing dancer. And it's not like there's a huge scar even. There's not much to see. You'd never know. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, so doctor, we, you know, we're, we're talking about, you know, this, this procedure you did and, and the amazing result. National Scoliosis Awareness Month, what can we do to, to help with that? I think it's important that, that people realize that these curvatures, because they're not painful at, at the start, mm -hmm. uh, still need to be addressed. They still need to be screened for. So typically either the school or more commonly your pediatrician does an annual evaluation. That's a lot of my referrals mm -hmm. is, uh, is being screened. And the screening is very simple. The child bends forward and we can see if there's rotation of the, the spine and certain asymmetries that we can, then they refer to me. But if uh, it's important to get your, your annual school checks uh, with your pediatrician. It's, it's very important to follow up if there's anything 
uh, curvature in that nature. I mm -hmm. mean, like I said, most of them don't need any treatment. But right. the ones that do, if you don't address them in an early age, mm -hmm. they become much more detrimental as an early uh, young adult or as an adult. Okay, well, Melissa, right. we're really glad that you had the surgery and it's been a great success and you're a sun doll, so enjoy yeah. your time at USF. Thank you. Yeah, Dr. congratulations. Thank you. All right, Doctor, thank you as well. And well, we'll be right back. Yeah.